Renison University College's East Meets West Garden. Brisk air sweeps lazily against your cheek as you first step out of the Renison College building into the East Meets West Garden. Your hands graze gently over the damp wood of the bridge railings dulled by winter's wear. The dormant garden is calm and still, in a rusting trance parallel to the hibernation of animals in the long winter months. The stillness brings about a sense of anticipation, highly reminiscent of the stagnant horizon just before sunrise. The East Meets West Garden provides a blooming welcome to ease the stress students may feel returning in the fall. Interlocking stone paths provide a gateway for exploration of the garden and the Tory Gate provides a sense of Asian culture. The Half Moon Bridge provides a nice detail to accent the garden. Trees and branches throughout the garden are placed in memory of those significant to Renison. In addition, the garden provides a habitat for many animals making it a warming place to relax, think, and study. The separation of land masses in the tertiary era geographically divided common species. Through evolution, plants of ancestral origin developed and adopted new and unique characteristics in order to adapt to their ever-changing surroundings. Some plants evolved significantly and acquired considerable changes, possibly even undergoing speciation or the transition into a new species. This is comparable to the unique cultures, customs, and values that have arisen in the human population throughout time. Much like these plants, migration and separation have allowed for each of us to develop unique identities and beliefs. Some plants, however, evolved in parallel. Despite geographic separation, only small changes developed over time, thus prompting the existence of East versus West version of plants. For example, we will later discuss the similarities and differences between the Japanese versus the North American pine tree. Parallel evolution can explain the fundamental characteristics that we as humans still share. For example, the desire for achievement or the need for comfort and love. The East Meet West Garden at Renison College is also an example of species convergence. Through human involvement, species of different native geographies have been reconnected. This is comparable to how the world is rapidly becoming interconnected as a result of recent advancements in communication practices and travel feasibility. The ancestral pine species diverged into an astounding number of lineages, resulting in abundance of variety in both eastern and western pine trees. The Japanese pine, or matsu, is one of these evolved species. You may have seen these cultivated into bonsai. Matsu is a word that means waiting for the soul of a god to descend from heaven. It was named after the Shinto belief that gods rose to heaven on a pine tree. The Japanese pine further represents longevity, virtue, and youth, and is utilized in many cultural celebrations and ceremonial practices. For example, pine twigs are often bundled and displayed on front doors at New Year's for prosperity and blessings from God. In recent years, the Japanese pine also became a national symbol of resilience and determination after a single pine was left standing amongst piles of rubble following the destructive tsunami of 2011. On the other side of the globe, the North American pine tree stands tall and proud, oftentimes exceeding 150 feet tall and sometimes living up to 4,000 years old. Similar to Japanese culture, the tree symbolizes longevity and wisdom due to its long lifespan and resilience. The tree is of great historical importance and value. It was the heart of Robert Pike's Tall Trees, Tough Men, a well-known novel published in the 1960s that described the harsh working conditions and daily lives of loggers in New England. Furthermore, it is highly regarded in Native North American culture. For example, it is the basis of a Micmac folktale that epitomized a human desire and greed. The Japanese maple has leaves that are green in the summer and turn red and purple in the fall. It has small purple and red flowers that are so delicate and small they almost blend in with the leaves. The Japanese maple originated in China, Japan, and Korea. It is so beautiful it is often used as the focal point in Japanese gardens. Clive Oliver also wrote a beautiful poem called The Japanese Maple, inspired by the tree's beauty. 
The sugar maple is largely found in southern Ontario and northeastern United States. The large maple leaf found on the sugar maple is a symbol of Canada, and it is represented on the Canadian flag. The name sugar maple comes from the sweet sap it produces to make maple syrup. Its seeds are enclosed in maple keys, and the sugar maple can grow in temperatures ranging from negative 40 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The Asian magnolia originates from Southeast Asia. Its massive structure towers above 15 feet into the sky. The base of the tree has an abrasive texture like sand from the beach. The flowers bloom early in the winter and are bulky, fuzzy, and rose purple in color. There is a touch of milky white towards the center of the flower, contrasting with the rose purple surroundings, creating a pleasant fragrance. It symbolizes sweetness, beauty, and gives off a feminine vibe. The native magnolia originates from the southern United States. Much like its cousin on the other side of the globe, its body is large and from a distance its appearance is green, like a field of grass. The flowers bloom late in the spring and are cup-shaped, white in color, with hints of pink accents. The fragrance is very strong and distinct, and it symbolizes freedom and dignity. The cornucopia species of dogwood, more commonly known as the eastern dogwood, is a small deciduous tree that grows to around 10 meters tall. In spring, bright white flowers are noted to bloom. However, these flowers are in reality discolored leaves that surround much smaller stems, of which are the real flowering portions of the plant. This is analogous to the ancient times of armies supporting a ruler and together acting as a coherent governing body a governing system that was prevalent throughout much of Asia's history. The bright white flowering structure of the dogwood is thought to represent both beginnings and ends in Asian culture, with the color white thought to represent both death and at the same time a blank slate. Finally, even though the dogwood is comparatively small among variants tree species, it is remarkably strong and resilient with the wood being quite dense and trees often surviving strong winds. As such, it has also become a symbol of strength and resilience of the people through times of war and strife, of which was prevalent throughout much of Asia's history, the people standing up in the face of military campaigns, much like the dogwood stands up to the unyielding winds of the region. In the East meets West Garden, it is curious that the tree now symbolizes a balance between the various cultures within Asia, representing peace and harmony, and playing a role in adding to the balance of both tall and short plant species, ranging from dark to light colored, and providing vital contrast as one walks through the garden. The Cornus Florida species of dogwood is often known as the Western dogwood, and represents resurrection and rebirth in Western cultures, much like the Eastern dogwood does for cultures in Asia. The story of resurrection is closely tied and symbolized by various parts of the plant in relation to the story of the crucifixion of Jesus. When looking closely at the species, three major traits stand out. These are the cross-shaped flowering structure of the plant, the red coloring that is present on the tips of the cross, of which is absent in the eastern dogwood, and the twisted nature of the wooden body of the tree. In the tale of Jesus' crucifixion, the wood that the cross was made of was the body of the dogwood, and as a result of the plant never wanting to be used in such a manner again, it has grown to be twisted and gnarled in nature so that the wooden boards may never be made from it. The cross-shaped flowering structure is meant to symbolize the cross on which Jesus has died and the red tips representing his blood. However, the continued growth of the dogwood to this day represents the resurrection and continued existence of Jesus. In the East meets West Garden, the parallel presence of both the Eastern and Western dogwoods represents a side-by-side -side existence and convergence of cultures, some of which are similar, such as the dogwood symbolism of resilience and continued growth, as shown by the dense and tough nature of the wood in both species. Although the garden is already so beautiful and was inspired by such a great idea, we thought of a few suggestions that might make it even better. Pagoda lights are often used in Japanese gardens. 
Adding them to the East Meets West garden would illuminate the garden in the winter when it gets dark early. We also thought water features would be a good idea. Specifically, water elements in Chinese gardens symbolize life and the feminine principle of the universe, which represents yin, opposed to rock, which represents yang. Finally, we thought a few practicality features like Chippendale, latest benches, and waste containers would make a good addition as well.